You're watching, you're watching BBC News. Kosovo has hit the headlines in recent weeks as tension grows in the north of the country following the election of ethnic Albanian mayors. The mayors took their seats after local elections were boycotted by the Serb population. Now, this was the scene in the town of Zvechan on Monday as clashes erupted between NATO-led soldiers and Serb protesters trying to block the newly elected mayor from taking office. NATO is now planning to send more peacekeepers after 30 were injured in the disturbances. Well, the violence has prompted fears of renewed conflict in the Balkans, with a number of regional players intervening to try to manage the situation. This map shows Kosovo sandwiched between Serbia to the north and Albania to the south. Well, I spoke to the Prime Minister of Albania, Eddie Rama, a short time ago. Here's what Mr. Rama had to say. There is a situation that is uh, disturbing in the northern of Kosovo, but uh, I would not uh, give it uh, too much uh, emphasis in terms of uh, danger. I would simply say that uh, this situation has been uh, provoked by first the Serbs abandoning the institutions, so practically creating a vacuum. And then second, by the Kosovo author authorities insisting to put these mayors in empty buildings where the majority uh, of population is by far Serbian. Um, so, I mean, I, I thought, just to clarify, so yeah. it was very, it was very good to have elections and to show that no one can uh, kidnap the democratic process in the independent Republic of uh, Kosovo, but it was not a good idea to then insist that this, uh, these four mayors had to enter the empty buildings protected by police and then KF4 getting in and the KF4 soldiers being unjustly injured. So, this so, is so Prime Minister, are you um, pointing the finger of blame here at uh, Alban Kurti, the, the Prime Minister of Kosovo? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not uh, here to point the blame. I'm simply uh, trying to answer your question. While uh, I think that uh, the broader picture is, uh, is far more optimistic because uh, Serbia and Kosovo, thanks to Albin Kurti and to Aleksandr Vucic, are now uh, to the nearest point to close a historical deal. And uh, I also believe that the fact that the deal is so near, uh, based on the so-called French German proposal for uh, mutual uh, recognition as uh, the end game, has also uh, somehow uh, frustrated both so it's a bit like uh, a couple at the door of the church before getting married and having a, a, a second thought. But I mean, I think do, do you think this deal, do, I mean, the question then is, do you think they'll enter the church? Do you think this deal will happen? I think there is no other way on earth as uh, someone who was uh, for some time in the White House would say, that uh, this deal uh, will not happen. The only question is when. We were yesterday in this European political community in uh, Moldova with all the leaders, and it was a very, very firm belief of all the leaders, and uh, first and foremost of the French president and German chancellor, that uh, both sides uh, and uh, Alexander Vucic and Albin Kurdi should sit down for good and close the deal and deliver. So, I, I uh, mean, uh, uh, Al Albin Kurdi has said that uh, the West is appeasing Serbia and the response from the US and the UK has been a disproportionate pressure on Kosovo. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say, but I have exactly the same uh, opinion uh, and not out of uh, any uh, servile uh, position but out of uh, the conviction that uh, uh, us and eu are totally right and albin is wrong in this because they are not trying to appease uh, serbia 
they are trying to get finally Kosovo on another level, meaning a, a, a state that is recognized by everyone, a state that can sit in the United Nations and in many other uh, institutions where but, it's but, missing. But the aggression came from the Serbian side, from Belgrade. The what? The aggression when, you know, these these so-called thugs that, and w with the, the, the images that we saw of, listen, of NATO fighters, uh, NATO soldiers. Listen, yes, it's true and uh, there is no there is no way to deny it. But uh, on the other hand, it's also true that uh, sending these uh, mayors against the good advice of everyone. And when I say everyone of the great friends and partners of Kosovo, without whom Kosovo would not be who, who it is today, uh, was really uh, one step of too much. So uh, this being said, I think that Serbia has ceased to be a danger for Kosovo since 99, has lost for good Kosovo since 99. Yeah. And now it's time to now it's time for peace, it's time for normalization, it's time to sit down, it's time to accept to give to Serbia what Serbia uh, uh, has got That's in good. the deal in the deal before, meaning the association of municipalities of Serbian population and the right of the Orthodox Church of Serbia to to have its own life it, within it, yeah. Kosovo. Uh, and on the other hand, for Serbia to to uh, give it up and to understand that Kosovo is gone and for and, and uh, uh, accept the mutual recognition. That was uh, Albanian Prime Minister Edi Rama speaking to me uh, a little earlier.